guys, it's Becca. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Recently I put out some feelers and asked about what kinds of videos you guys would like to see and I did mention that I could do collection videos and the response was pretty positive. So I thought, okay, well let's do some collection videos. Since this is my first time doing something like this in a very long time, I know a long time ago I did an eyeshadow palette collection video. Um, things have changed a lot since then. But I thought I'd start off easy and I'm just doing my eyeshadow singles and these would be the loose eyeshadow singles not meaning like loose powder pigment things but loose as in they don't like have a magnet and stick into a palette so these are just like creams and baked eyeshadows and just things like that things that are probably getting underused in my collection so if you're interested in seeing what eyeshadows singles are hanging around in my collection just keep on watching If you've been following my channel for a little while, then you would know that I have had Ipsy for a very long time. I just recently got my final Ipsy glam bag that was back in August, but they have sent me lots and lots of eyeshadow singles. Some of my other subscription boxes have sent them as well, so I thought it would be a fun little warm up to go ahead and share the singles that I have received from subscription boxes. I think there's at least one or two more floating in my collection that I can't find right now, so that's a little embarrassing, but I'll go ahead and just start with what I can find, and I have these two. Naked Cosmetics Loose Singles. So they're both almost this exact same color. One is like naturally nude two and the other is naturally nude three. They're very pinky nude rose goldy kind of shades. They're beautiful, but I my skill level is not really up to being able to use this kind of product. I make a huge mess every time I try. The third loose eyeshadow that I have still in my collection is also from Ipsy. It's this little Lenny, I guess, and it's a very similar shade than the other ones. It's another like rose goldy kind of shade. So subscription boxes have sent me three eyeshadow cream pots, I guess you would call it. I have this one. It was from Yes Oh Yes a long time ago. It's a purple color. It's actually quite beautiful and I have used it a little bit. I'm not sold on this formula though, so I'm still working on it. I did get this Ace Beauté Duo from BoxyCharm a long time ago. I think I got rid of the pink one, but I do have the brown bronzy one. This one is called Iced Latte. It's beautiful. And then, of course, I did get the Hourglass Scattered Light a couple of months ago, and it is this very deep kind of cranberry berry shade. So that actually will work really well with my Panda's eyeshadows if I remember to use it. And subscription boxes have sent me a bunch of eyeshadow sticks or tubes or whatever too. I've gotten these two sticks. This one's nude sticks. You can see the packaging is still intact. I have not used it. And it is called Copper Foil. And then I do have this Mally Beauty. It looks like it's a very similar color. Also... A bronzy color that's one of the things I'm not really happy about like most of the time they send me the couple of different shades it's either gonna be a shimmery bronze color or a shimmery rose gold color because here we are going into these ones and they're like shimmery rosy gold colors one is from cover effects and the other one is from Ciate London I think Yes, Yache London. And it's just like the same colors over and over with different brands. And here we are with the one pressed eyeshadow single that I've kept from subscription boxes that I can find at least right now is Natasha Denona. And it is, of course, a bronzy gold shade, which is one of the two shades that I get over and over again. I have not ever used it, so I am excited to have it, which is because it's really nice. It's um the shade Obad, Obade. I'm not really sure how you say that word, but... I'm excited to have it, which is why I haven't gotten rid of it yet. I mean, I had a gigantic eyeshadow single from Natasha Denone. It was a black shade from a subscription box. It was like this big of a pan, and I can't find it, so I must have gotten rid of it. But I did keep this one. It passed the cut, so I do want to use this at some point. And as far as I understand, Natasha Denona pans are magnetic, so I could potentially take this out and put it in my little um, Build Your Own Palettes. Correct me if I'm wrong on that one, but yeah, so this one is still hanging around my collection. So now we're going to go ahead and transition into the eyeshadow singles that I purchased for myself, and we're going to start off with the stick eyeshadows. I only have three that I can find anyway, and they're all from e.l.f. They're just different shades. I have a like a champagne pearly highlight one. I have kind of a pinky um, shimmer one, and then I have this one here, which I think is a bronzy shimmer not sure if you can see the color on that so yeah not all that different than the shades that subscription boxes give me so what am i complaining about these are what i buy for myself anyway i do have five liquid eyeshadows that i have purchased for myself over the years this one here is the newest one i did get this one in my recent birthday order from too faced it is this shade called ice queen it's actually quite a beautiful shade but 
I'll go ahead and see if I can show you. But you can see when you swatch it, like it has a very transparent base and it it doesn't have the effect that I want. I'm still playing with it, trying to figure it out, but it has not impressed me at this point, I guess I should say. Then I did get a bunch of these little cream eyeshadows from Ulta a long time ago. One of them I tried out and I did not like it that much and I've already decluttered it. These are the three that I have still held on to. One is in the shade Materialistic. Then I have one in this kind of matte shade called Vintage Beauty. And then I have maybe a bronzy shade here called Breakdance. So yeah, my kids are having a fun time in the background there. Sorry about that. Um, this one here, which is probably the oldest one in my collection, is a Bare Minerals. And it's this kind of purpley, silvery color. And this one, it's got a really weird applicator too. And it's probably all dried out. Yeah, I should probably just throw this one away. Look what I just did trying to swatch it. I like made it all fall apart. So never mind on this one. The last category I have are little singles just like this in this kind of packaging here. These are all ones that I purchased myself. This first one is from Wet n Wild. It's in the shade Brulee and I use this one to set my eyeshadow base. As you can see I'm already getting close to the pan there. I have kind of backed off from using this one a little bit lately because I've been using the bronzer Reserve Your Cabana um, as a under eye setting and also to set my eyeshadow base recently because that one is in a project pan but when that one is finished i will be back to using this one and then all of the rest of these are just little singles of baked eyeshadows from a shop masse so okay goodness i'm trying to drop them all right so i'm just going to go one by one i have a bunch of different colors here I have this one here as cream. I kind of imagine that that would be a really pretty inner corner color, lid color, but also as an actual like baked highlighter. And I have used this one a little bit. You can see there's like a tiny little dent there. I'm not sure, actually, can you see that? There, you can see that little dent there that I have been using it as an inner corner highlight. Most of the rest of these have been pretty much neglected though. I have this blue shade here called Gatsby that I thought would be really fun and unique in my collection. Haven't used that one yet. I have this shade Ivy, which is like a deep kind of foresty green. This one really caught my eye on the website. Have not used it yet, but hopefully I'll get to using it soon. I have this here is another kind of cream color. It's Dove, which is not all that different from this one. This one's a little bit more yellow tone. This one's a little bit more silver tone. So this one's also very pretty. And then the last three are pretty much like purple shades. I have purple, which is Regal. This one's so pretty. And this is the one that I prompted me to make this whole purchase because I saw this shade and I was like, oh, I want this one. And then I looked at all the other colors. Like, oh, there's some other pretty ones here too. They're only a dollar. Let me just grab a bunch too many so then here we have this more like taupey purple this one's really pretty so i'm excited about this one as well have not used it i actually i think i have like look it's kind of messy in there i think i have used it and then the last one here is called gravel it's an even more taupey kind of it has a gray tone to it it might have a little bit of a purple undertone there all right so that is it those are all of the eyeshadow singles that i have in my collection minus of course magnetic singles which is a whole different ball game. I will get to those at some other point, but I thought this would be easy to start off with. I hope this was fun. I had fun looking at all the colors and kind of going back down memory lane like, oh yeah, I forgot I got these. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you are staying healthy and safe and in good spirits, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!